Mike Florio on the Rich Eisen Show with a trade he thinks the Browns should have made at deadline. It would have been a perfect opportunity to do a trade that involved various levels of picks based upon what Henry does the rest right. of the year. Sure. Right? Slide and scale. It'll be a five or a four or a three or a two, whether it's his success, whether it's team success. The Browns desperately need something for their offense. But the problem with the Browns is when you've given up three first round picks and three mid round picks for Deshaun Watson, and you've gotten no return on that investment, never mind the money. We talk about the money all the time because that contract was unprecedented. Three ones, three mid level picks. Those are key players that can be part of your foundation for years to come, gone forever. And it's all into Deshaun Watson's hands, and he's not playing, and their defense is good enough to beat anyone. They just need something offensively. I thought it would have been a stroke of genius for them to go get Derrick Henry, do a trade based upon how well they do. It just feels like if they could get something out of their offense, the window is open for them to be a real contender for the first time in a very long time. And, uh, Quincy, the reports were that Titans weren't going to trade him. Um, ownership said, no, nah, we're not going to trade him. Um, Derrick Henry probably would have helped. What they really need, though, is they need Deshaun Watson to come back and, and, uh, and be effective. The Browns are second in the league in rushing yards. You know, like, I don't see the big need for Derrick Henry, um, especially with how they ran last week. They're second in the league in rushing yards. Um, they they run the ball a fair bit amount of time. Like, they're, they're fine at running back. They don't need Derrick Henry. And also, when you bring in Derrick Henry, that's another massive change to this offense that you're asking them to adjust to in like four weeks, right? They already had to adjust. Okay, we're blocking for Nick Chubb. Now we're not blocking for Nick Chubb. What does that look like? You make that adjustment in the bye week, you see obvious results after the bye week, after you make that adjustment. Now we're going to adjust back to trying to block like we have Nick Chubb for, for Derrick Henry. It doesn't make very much sense, especially when it's not like your run game has been anemic. It's been top five in the NFL. So... If that's the case, then you're fine. Do you know this rushing attack without Nick Chubb is still on pace to be as productive? If not more, they're actually on pace to be like 70 more yards productive than they were last year with the same amount of touchdowns. It's not rushing, the, running the ball wasn't going to solve this team's problem. And I wonder if Mike Florio really thought the Browns should trade for Derrick Henry or did he just think that was a creative way to complain about Deshaun Watson? in some way, shape, or form again. Yeah. Because if, I don't know. There was a lot of Deshaun Watson in a Derrick Henry trade conversation, right? Like, that that, that take had a yeah. lot of Deshaun Watson in it. Well, and, and, you know, I, I do get tired of the contract. The contract, they did that so that they could acquire him. Now, if you want to have a conversation was acquiring him, that's fine. The contract's kind of middle of the road right now. I, I know it's guaranteed and, and yada, 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 but all right. Yeah, I'm tired of hearing about how much money Deshaun Watson makes. If he goes out and plays football like he's capable of, nobody's going to talk about that. He's been hurt. And to his point about the draft compensation is like, yeah, sure, you gave up some first-round picks, but you've gotten real lucky in the, sec in the second, third, and fourth rounds of these drafts to get high-quality players in. So, yeah, you're not bringing in the guys that you want to in the first round, but you're still keeping an influx of really good, extension-worthy talented football players into this organization so it's not like you missed much and we always assume that these first round picks are going to be home run hitter pro bowl players but as browns fans we know that that percentage on first round picks the hit rate far from 100 percent. so we should never assume that they were just going to 100 percent knock out every first round pick that they got yeah especially later in the first round so that, that has been a struggle mm -hmm. 